which is this, who is Zervan. So we're going to queue for that. Um, after that, we're going to actually work on this. I talked about it previously, said we'd come back to it. We will. That is the Hildebrand quests. We did them in ARR. We are back for more in Heaven's Ward. There are more in there will be more in Stormblood too. There aren't more in Shadowbringers, but then there are more in Endwalker. But we're gonna do a couple things while we queue. Mostly ferment related. Can you not tell me why you do not wish to live in the firmament? Firmament? Yes, it worries you so. Oh, Archon. You could not have come at a better time. You have heard that I am in the process of settling citizens in the firmament. While some could not pack their belongings quickly enough, others are proving resistant to the idea, such as Audain here and her daughter, Noel. Begging your pardons, but... Aren't you the savior of Ishgard? It's an honor, my lord. Grateful for the invitation, we truly are. But we couldn't possibly afford to live in a shiny new district. Even before our home in the broom was burned down, we were barely getting by. Besides, given who we are, we don't have the right. In my mind, the ferment is for people such as they, first and foremost, who lost their home to the fires of conflict. If they themselves do not wish it, we cannot force them to move. Employment initiatives. Truly? If that's the case, perhaps it's not out of the question for us. Perhaps I should do it. Yes, not for myself, then for my little girl. All right, I humbly accept. Glad I am to hear it. Pray see to your preparations then, and come to the firmament when you are ready. All it took was a few words from you. you truly hold sway over people, my friend. Of course, such trust comes not overnight. It is a product of your many selfless deeds. Despite being falsely, falsely accused of a crime and driven to the ends of the realm, you did not surrender to despair. On the contrary, you dedicated yourself to the plight of others, and ultimately guided our war-weary nation upon the path to peace. In some ways, we have walked similar path, paths, but my struggles are trifling compared to yours. My name carries not the same weight. My words have not the same power over the hearts of my fellow men. Fury, take me if I allow the restoration effort to founder on account of my personal failings. The health and happiness of the people are at stake. Therefore, I ask you, will you not aid me in the running of the firmament? To you, beside me, I feel that there is no difficulty I cannot overcome. You need an answer right this moment. Please, take the time to think on it. Yeah, sure. Agree to aid me, then? No, oh, words cannot ex well express my gladness. Thank you. Without further ado, then, I would have you deliver these missives. They are entreaties for cooperation in the restoration effort. Ordinarily, I would make the delivery myself, but I believe that the recipients would be pleased for your visit. One is Gibralon, proprietor of the Forgotten Knight. Another is Sir Hadaloop of the F Temple Knights. And last but not least is Mr. Soles, our master of the markets. Well, you see to this task, I shall look on Audain and her daughter. Let us convene in the firmament afterwards. Go talk to people at places, got it.
Interesting outfit. Okay. Let's go Forgotten Night. Oh, wow, the timer was a lie. Whoever would have gathered. Well, Medarchon, to what do we at Dio the Honor this day? Got a letter for you. A missive from Lord Francel, you say? Sir Handaloop, my thanks for your unflagging dedication to preserving the peace in the Holy See. I write to you as overseer of the Firmament Reconstruction Project in order to officially entreat the cooperation of the Temple Knights. The project's need for able hands will only grow, and it is my hope that your order might be amenable to dispatching a contingent of engineers to assist in our efforts. For the prosperity of our nation, I thank you for your kind consideration. See, I have not the authority alone to decide. I, for one, should be glad we're ordered to lend what help we may. I shall do my utmost to see that Lord Fancel has his engineers. Truth to tell, I have a personal interest in the firmament. Oh, it was raised to the ground, I myself lived there, you see. Many places in Ishgard offer a commanding view, but I find none finer than that of my erstwhile home. And, ah, that needs me to be love. I have something at level 80. Berlant. That is an icon. What can I get you? Read letter. So from young Francel. Can only guess how you ended up delivering it. Uh, let's have a look. Dear Gibralon, I pray this missive finds you well and not bothered over much by the old wound. I write with regards to our efforts in the firmament, of which you will most certainly be aware. Of late, we have seen a marked increase in the number of workers on site, and we struggle to keep everyone fed. In order to alleviate the strain upon our kitchen, it is my hope that you must might provide us with hearty and wholesome provender from your own. Francel was always good to me back when I served his house, and I won't refuse him. I'll arrange to have the meals prepared and sent to the firm in at once. You're all involved in the restoration, then, I take it? Keep an eye out on the lad for me, will you? That's two of the three. The other one is... Over in the markets. So that's Jeweled Crozier. There. Oh, warm welcome to you, Master Shade. What is it you seek at the Jeweled Crozier this evening? Read. Oh, missive for me from Lord Francois. Intriguing. Dear Mr. Soles, I pray this missive finds you well and your market's bustling. I write to request your aid in acquiring heavy machinery of foreign make, intended for the use of the many foreigners lending their expertise to the restoration project. Such equipment as the Skyskill Manufactory possesses is unfamiliar to non Ishgardians, and as such would adversely affect their ability to carry out their work. Though the connections you have established through the connections you have established with foreign merchants, I have faith that you can for procure for us that which we require. My humblest thanks for your assistance. The machinery of foreign bank. Hmm. There will be no small queue to source such items. The merchant in, the wel in me welcomes the challenge. I say, it feels like only yesterday that Lord Francel was a little boy coming to the market with his brothers. Now he has blossomed into a well-spoken, accomplished young man. Time surely flies. Ah, forgive me my reminiscence. You may relate to my moor. It shall be my pleasure to attend his order. 
Okay, serving time. Let's go. Let me in. Click the button, people. Click the button. Click it. Click the stinking button. They're not. Someone's not going to click the button. No. Last minute clicky. I'll take it. The last of the warring triad. There's been enough sacrifice for one day. We must take the chance we've been given and defeat Zervan now. Oh god, is the hardest boss in this again gonna be not jamming out to the music? guys like unstack please good lord Dodge, stack. Can you stop turning it, please? Tank just walled it for no damn reason.
my No thanks. Sephiroth's got the best music of the three, though. And let's get our last cutscene. Hello again, Toph. Incredible as always, okay, Zarkon. Hopefully that will be the last our world sees the likes of Art Zervon. Every one of his thralls has been slain as far as we can determine. Our victory over the Warring Triad is complete. Why are you being such a troublemaker right now? An impossible fleet feat had we not been blessed with your cooperation. Let us not forget the efforts of Regula von Hydrus and his men. Without their noble sacrifice, the demon would have awoken far sooner. Possessed of far more formidable st energies. The bodies of the fallen now accompany the survivors on the return journey to Garlemald. It is known that the Imperials recognize no god, yet they would honor the dead in their own fashion. And when next we meet, our fleeting alliance will surely be forgotten. It was an interesting exchange, nonetheless. They spoke of their present ruler as a man who values self-sufficiently. Sufficiency. There is befriended Regula in their youth, it seems, and is highly impressed by his martial prowess. It is common knowledge that Regula's rise to Legatus was, in great part, advocated by the Emperor himself. Regula freely admitted his shortcomings when it came to politics, and it was Varys' unconditional support that served to win his undying fealty. One does not expect such tales of comradeship to lurk between the Empire's iron exterior. Contrary to all expectations, the man died a hero, witnessing the way you all leapt into danger without hesitation. It would seem I am surrounded by heroes. And yet, my own actions were naught but heroic. I have not the qualities nor the character to stand by the warrior of light's side. Curious thing to say. Are you truly concerned that you do not measure up to some arbitrary requirement? In the path I walk to reach this place, then you would understand why I doubt myself so. Turn with me to the Rising Stones, and I shall tell you of it. Okay. 
A return to the rising stones. Doesn't have the same ring. Yes, Toph, can I help you? you eventually, buddy. Your victory over Zervan, the Warring Triad is finally defeated. I'm afraid, however, that my own efforts have often been more hindrance than help. You and your fellow scions deserve to hear the reasons behind my actions. Yes, I'd like to know who you are. I promise to tell you of my journey. Or of who I am. Or where I am from. Take off the mask, buddy. The truth is, I am not of this world. Born of a different star. A child whose power of the Echo was too feeble to save his dying world. A child who, unlike you, never became a warrior of light. All I, when all I knew stood on the brink of destruction, I was yet half grown. I had been born but a handful of years earlier, history may have written a different tale. The seeds of other heroes that had yet to fully sprout may not have withered and perished. The star I failed to save is known to you now as the Void. Khandu, not that I spoke of my homeland. I have explained to him before the cause of its ruin. Magic was devised to contain a defeated primal's might within a stone known as Orosite. The energies which bled from this imperfect vessel gradually corrupted the champions who wielded it. These heroes become slaves to an insatiable hunger for ether, eventually transforming into hideous fiends. None who clung to the faint trances of light were strong enough to oppose them. Demons next turned upon each other in a war which drained the land's ether in ever greater amounts. Till one day, the star was suddenly swallowed in a flood of darkness. An entire world unmade in an instant. The void sent you encounter here in this realm, of the twisted remnants of once mortal beings who gnaw on what motes of life force remain. I lay dying, beaten and broken in my failed to last stand. It was a white robed ashen who found my tormented spirit and bore me away to the rift betwixt worlds. Lotus Bis has been my master ever since. At my mentor's feet did I learn of the nature of the reality, of the existence of mirrors, worlds, and the eternal struggle between dark and light sudden and overwhelming superiority for either side will shatter the balance. In the world in question, we return to the void by a calamity beyond imagining. As a self-appointed custodian its balance, my master warned me that the source, the first of all worlds, slips perilously close to oblivion. In 
what spirit did this master proffer such a warning? Benevolent gesture? Prevailed threat. To these questions and more do I mean to coax forth answers. You know, matter his attention. That Heidel and doth teeter on a knife's edge is an undeniable truth. Knowing this, a choice was given you to make. Choose, chose to join my master and act as an instrument on this star. The tragedy that befell my home cannot be repeated. I will see this world saved. Yet I hesitated at the most crucial of moments. What right have I to stand beside a true warrior of light? In thine own words thou wert called before thy time, and I offer that thou dwellest over much in the question of what maketh the hero. Search for the answer, leaveth thee paralyzed by doubt. Heed me, Master Onokalai. Thou needest not believe thyself a hero to perform great deeds. Tis the deed itself which earneth thee the hero's mantle. The ideals you hold can be less important, having the faith to act upon them. Regular's loyalty to the Emperor guided his actions until the last. And then, though we did not see eye to eye on many things, his final deeds can be called not less than heroic. Personally, I find that faith in my companions allows me to act unhindered by uncertainty. I know that should I ever falter, Archon will be there to support me, or steer me back into the right path if needed. See. Days leading up to the world's destruction, I was entirely alone. I never knew what it was to have such comrades. I cannot imagine the loneliness you must have felt. Look around you now, Nokohai. You're not alone anymore. fulfill my promise to save this world, and when I stumble, I shall be glad to have your hands there to steady me. My apologies. This is difficult for me. For so long have I spoken from behind a mask. Should all feel comfortable speaking without such concealments? I should hope you appreciate the irony of that statement, Orianja. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the mask is up here. He's just wearing glasses. How goes the B P12S prog? Last pillar to fall. 